rainbow YouTube, yes. YouTube made its logo rainbow, so I made the YouTube rainbow logo on my nails, naturally. Some of you may have seen these fabulous rainbow YouTube nails at VidCon. Does that look like nail polish? <laughs> but funny story, I actually did these nails on the same day that YouTube released its proud to be video and new rainbow logo, and I hadn't even seen the rainbow logo yet. I got home from work, I did these nails because I wanted to make YouTube rainbow for VidCon, and then I realized that YouTube had made a rainbow logo. <laughs> great minds think alike, YouTube great minds think alike. So my nails are short. <laughs> Currently having flashbacks of trauma. To make this mani last, I'm using not a peel off base coat for once. Wow, it's a miracle. And as I record this voiceover, I've had these nails on for 11 days. Now we're gonna add some white. We're gonna add some white because rainbows look best over white, don't you know it? Add some liquid latex and don't be afraid to get right in there around the cuticle because this time I don't need to worry about it peeling off my peel off face coat. I went for a more cool toned rainbow color scheme. YouTube obviously copied me. Now because my nails are so much shorter than usual, I need to make a very narrow rainbow on the makeup sponge. But don't put them too close together or else all the colors will blend together and look like shit. Do a little dab, dab, dab on the nail. We do the rainbow dab. Do the rainbow dance. Do the rainbow dance. Dab, dance, dab. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I find very thin, light coats of whatever gradient you're putting on your nail works best, so work in thin layers. Don't put too much on the sponge at once. I think I may have done four coats. I'm not sure. I don't remember. It was so long ago. Now we gonna peel off, simply peel like no big deal. I'm talking in this accent because I just came back from America. 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 Use a cleanup brush dipped in acetone to get off any excess gradient mess if you need to. Now what's a rainbow without a hollow top? Code. It's a boring rainbow. We gotta make all the rainbows in the world hollow. I'm using a scattered hollow top coat. I showed it off in my What's the Best Hollow Top Coat video, or you can find it at the link below. Now, even though the hollow top coat is technically a top coat, I'm putting on an actual quick dry, super thick, glossy taco because I just really like tacos, okay? No, but seriously, it's to make the mani last longer. You see how I cap it or wrap the tips under the edge? That will help it last, so do that. And now, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a double rainbow! I swear I have taken no drugs today. Now on my ring finger, we're gonna do the play button. Instead of the hollow top coat, first I'm gonna apply a quick dry glossy top coat because we're gonna paint acrylic paint on top of that. You gotta let that dry for a really long time, probably like half an hour to an hour, if you wanna be able to scratch off the acrylic paint with a toothpick, which I always wanna do because I always make mistakes. Now I am drawing the inverse of the play button or uh, attempting to draw the inverse of the play button. <laughs> Where is the middle of my fingernail? Where is it? Okay, I think I found it. The, yeah, okay, this is, this is more centered. Good job, me. If I sound like I got some shit up my nose, it's because I still do. I am still getting over a second cold that holosexuals must have given me at VidCon. <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't know why I'm sick again. It's probably because I never sleep. Yeah, I, I should probably go to bed one, one day, yes. So keep applying thin coats of your white acrylic paint to fill in your play button. Speaking of play button, YouTube, I have not got mine yet. I want a hollow play button. Anyways, now you see me using the toothpick trick to make the edges of the play button look better. Yes, I could have used white nail polish instead of acrylic paint, but if I did that, I wouldn't be able to scratch it away like this, and I always need to be able to correct my mistakes. And now to complete the look, we add a hollow taco because I could not let the white play button get away with just being white. Then I add a final quick coat of quick dry glossy top coat to seal everything in and keep it on forever. And now I am proud to be holosexual. Okay, let me just clarify before some people get offended. I never intend to diminish or take away from the hashtag proud to be campaign or any other LGBT equality movements for that matter by using the term holosexual. If you guys know me, then you know I am absolutely in support of equality. I mean, does anyone remember this video? If you think my American pride flag nails are corrupting your nation's symbol or whatever, it's nail art, calm down. I'm Canadian, so of course I'm a liberal beaver, and I believe every 
everyone should be able to love whoever they want and be whoever they are. I love hollow, so I am holosexual. Yes, it may not be a serious, intimate relationship. Well, you never know, but But it's supposed to be a lighthearted way of expressing my love for it. Part of the Ten Commandments of being a holosexual is being for equality and the choice to love whoever or whatever you want. I don't know what the other nine are, so don't ask. In the end, holosexuals love rainbows. I mean, come on now. And this is 11 days later. Not one chip anywhere. I do have some tips to share with you guys on how to make your mani last like this, but I think I'll save it for another video because there's just too much to say. And so for now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye!